At my heaviest, I weighed 375 pounds. I was diagnosed with binge eating disorder. I literally just want to eat. People think, oh, why don't you just stop? Why don't you eat healthier? It's not as simple as that because it had that control over me. <laughs> I'm so overweight, no one understands. And this is why I've come to the point of wanting the surgery. I knew that the only way I was going to be able to lose weight was the gastric sleeve surgery because I was just going to eat myself to death. I now weigh 180 pounds. My self-love and everything has come so far. I know my worth now. When I look at this, I can remember exactly how I was feeling in each photo. It was just emptiness and feeling completely worthless and no self-love at all and you can see in my eyes how I had given up. My experience with eating disorders I've been at both ends of the spectrum. I've had binge eating disorder my whole life but I also had bulimia in 2014. With binge eating disorder you consume a large amount of food and that's how you gain all the weight whereas with bulimia you still have the binge mode but you purge after. It's hard to look back now and to see where you were and the helplessness and desperation is just horrendous. Going into high school there was a group of boys that used to call me Bigfoot and Beached Whale so that contributed to how I dealt with my emotions. I would consume a large amount of food in year 11 which is when I was 16 that's when I started to starve myself. I would go to school with my lunches that mum had packed and I would throw it in the rubbish bin or if I was starving myself at home I would feed the food to my dog and say that I had eaten it. Straight away that's when my binging started again and I started to regain all the weight that I'd lost and then would get further up on the scales than before. This is me. I went through a roller coaster with losing weight and gaining weight. I'm fighting my brain. I just want to binge. <laughs> I'm so overweight that no one understands. We always thought that she had a relationship with food that wasn't quite right. So if we ever brought it up, it, it was just a taboo subject. You just didn't do it. I think I just felt desperate as a mother. You're as happy as your saddest child. And I just didn't know what to do with the situation. Watching her just starting to fall apart. I'm 27 this year and I've wasted so many years. I let my eating disorder and everything else take over and I care too much about what people thought of me. People think, oh why don't you just stop? Why don't you eat healthier? It's not as simple as that because it had that control over me. My brain would con constantly be like, go on, just do it. Have a binge, do it. You can do it, it's fine. Start again tomorrow. I've opened and closed the fridge so many times. I literally just want to eat. <laughs> No one understands how hard this is. Like, I can't even deal. Like, I, I just want to go and eat something. I've never been able to express myself with fashion because there's not much clothing range for people that are a lot larger. This is a 3XL. At my heaviest weight, I felt disgusted in myself. I was ashamed. I hid away from the world. Only my closest friends and my parents were allowed to see me. I wasn't living, I was just existing, and it got really, really dark. And literally, I've only just fit the seatbelt. I got to the point where I couldn't even walk up my path without losing my breath. This is just walking up my path, and like, um, my legs are already tired and I'm out of breath. And I knew that the only way I was going to be able to lose weight was the gastric sleeve surgery because I was just going to eat myself to death. I got the phone call and I'm getting my surgery in five days. I wore this on the day that I had my surgery. At the time they seemed small but now they are absolutely massive. I was taken into the room, I remember crying because I'd never had such a big surgery before so I, it was all the unknown. I had complication after complication. I woke up in recovery and a lot of pain. It's not my stomach, it's like the gas. I was in and out of hospital for three months. I ended up having to have two more surgeries where they had to untwist my new stomach. And after the second surgery, I started to go uphill. 
couple months later, I remember just sitting in the bath and it kind of hit me what I'd been through. And I was like, oh my God, like that's crazy. But also in a way, I am grateful for everything that did happen. I would 100% go through all of that again to get to where I am. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but it has gotten me to where I am now. I never used to like exercise. My parents would have to literally force me to do any form of exercise, and now I absolutely love running. Losing all the weight and not having that heaviness on my body, I just feel free and fit and healthy, which just obviously impacts your whole being, your mental and physical being. At my heaviest, I weighed 375 pounds, and I now weigh 180 pounds. It's a, like a free feeling, being able to run and have that energy and be able to move my body where I couldn't used to do that. Great, now time to cool down at the beach. I think I'm always going to struggle with how I see myself. My brain, I'm constantly telling myself like I've lost the weight but I still think I'm as huge as I used to be and I have to constantly check either my pictures or in the mirror to tell myself no, you have lost weight. It blows my mind how far I've come. Not only did I gain my life back, but I gained my self-love and self-worth back. You would never have caught me dead in a bikini. So now, being able to be in a bikini at the beach and not have that overwhelming feeling of people staring at you and judging you for your size is amazing. How are you proud of Claire Bell? Amazingly. She's got a new life. She's happy. She's got a good relationship with food. She knows her self-worth. I think that's a really big thing because she had no self-worth before. Claire's going to win. Claire's going to win against binge eating. To us, this whole other chapter is going to be consigned to the past. It's incredible for us to, to, to really get our old Claire back, which is really cool. I am now able to live a normal life. My mental health is improved so much. I've become so strong in myself and know what I do deserve and also know that I am not just my body. I thought that I would do a video to my future self. If you feel like you have doubt in days where you're still fighting your brain, please get help. Don't stay quiet. This video is for you. To see how hard it was for you when you were this overweight. To see how far you've come. I just feel like everything seems brighter and being able to see my parents happy as well with me now being back to their happy daughter that they always want to see. I'm not in my room hiding away. I'm able to go and live a life with them.